I just really always felt like, like I was supposed to be playing football. Like I was supposed to go to college. I was supposed to dominate college. It just at first when it was happening when I was young. I used to just think like, dang, like why is it not a big deal to me when I'm making these plays and doing stuff? The more I got, the older I got, I just really felt like I was just chosen to play football. There's J.C. Horn again making a play. J.C. Horn breaking up the pass. Tackled by J.C. Horn, who has been all over the field today. <laughs> you ain't you seen me being nickel, bro. No. No way. It's cold, too. Devon, I'm gonna down for me, bro. Somebody, you were like, hey, yo. I'm about to down that bitch. He was dying. Oh, my God. You know, people like, we're bringing back to the hospital. But anyway, listen, it's all his music is fast. Oh, that's that push. Oh, yeah, that's that push. Oh, yeah. Oh, you say that? Yeah. yeah. It's some song. That's like if you're in the room. Run in, run in. Run in, run yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He want to hear that thing. Beat, beat, beat. Why he, why he want to hear that? <laughs> why it's so fast? He want to hear, he want to listen to music and chip my voice. <laughs> <laughs> The lowest line win. <laughs> oh, he love that. He love the click clack. <laughs> oh, <the> break. <laughs> Look. Wait, wait, wait. How y'all feel? Straight. You know, working out with OD is probably one of the best experiences that I didn't had, you know, playing, playing DB and training. Uh, mainly because of the love and passion he bring, he brings to the game, and they can see the work he put in. Like he really out here putting in more work than, than the players like, that play football. So I feel like when dudes see that, they, they automatically like attract to him and want to work with him and be around greatness. And that's what it was for me. You know, I ran across a clip of him training. Uh, and he came to South Carolina and, and trained me. And I remember telling him like after the first workout. Like, yeah, we locked in. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be working with you for the rest of my career because it was just it was a different feel. Let's go straight three times. Come on. Yeah. You wanna go? Yeah, I hear you. From the middle? Right. We going uh I guess we go down the line. We'll go one turn, two turn, three turns down. You know at the combine, they go one, two, three straight and then they go four five. Yeah, I'm gonna be down here. Turn right? Ball. Go right, left, right. I'm down here. Keep going, We're just going one turn this time, right? Nah, we're going to go all three. three. We got enough time to go. Oh, right, left, three right. right, left, right. Right, left, right. Oh, it worked. Right it's going to be on you? Yeah. Go. Turn. 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 Oh. Working with JC, man. Turn. Super talented Turn. kid. Uh, Turn. IQ off the charts. Uh, uh, can do everything well, uh, but the most intriguing thing to me personally about, you know, working and growing with JC is his competitive edge, his competitive nature. He trains as if the game is on the line, like literally, like literally, like the man does not want to lose any reps. And I think you see that carry over into his game. Right, left, right. Yep. I listen to the ball. Go. Turn, turn, turn. Ball, I point it. Nice. Right, left, speed turn. Ready? Go. Turn, turn, turn. Go get it. Nice. It's too dark, y'all can't see. No, no, no. Hey, we ain't gonna go through no more turns. I ain't gonna open y'all up no more. Come back, that comeback drill they do with the combine. Pedal open, open break. Hey, somebody go stand on the 30. Receiver. Yeah, just stand there, Tyson. Jake can stand there. JC, you can bump out. Drive your eyes to the receiver. You breaking? Yeah, I got you. Hey, going straight pedal, no read. Go. 
Money, finish the game. There we go. Ball. So we're gonna inch back like we did yesterday. Yeah. I'm just gonna release. I'm gonna I'm pick up the speed just a little bit because I know y'all really warmed up today. You got me? Release on two. Ready? Inch back. <laughs> inch back. <laughs> on two, on two, on two, on two. Inch back. <laughs> yeah. Inch back. That's the shit, bro. Good. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I like that. I mean, being out here is different. I like the scenery, stuff like that. Um, it's just all about like opportunity I got man, right now. It's, it's, it don't it don't come. It don't come. Like this is the only time in your life you have a big opportunity like this. So you got to make sure like although. You can have fun out here and stuff like that. You also gotta make sure to just lock in for these, for these couple months and you know, try to make the most of it. Cause like I said, you only get one shot at something like this. Like, you ain't gonna be able to go back in life and get drafted again. Man, when the, when the job come around, you know, I, I really don't too much try to think about it. Um, just cause like, my whole life is all I've been waiting for. Like, just like any other kid that grew up playing football. So I really don't even, I don't even think about it too much, but I don't even know like, what type of reaction I'm gonna have when I do get drafted. Like, like one part of me, I'm gonna be like, it's gonna be a kind of emotional just because it ain't a dream no more, like it's reality. Like you turn your dreams to reality. But the other side of me is really just like, I feel like this is supposed to happen. I was just born. I feel like I was just born put on earth for football. Like, so that that side of me, I feel like is going. I ain't really gonna cry because I feel like I was supposed to. I'm supposed to go get drafted early. I'm supposed to you know, dominate when I get to the league. Like, I was supposed to dominate college. Like, that's. I just feel like that was always supposed to happen. Every time, like throughout my life, every time it's a big moment like this. I really, I, I never got emotional because I be. I just sit back and look at it like a clear out view, like, like I was supposed to do that. That's what I feel like. So, yeah, where, what y'all doing? Not much, man. I'm about to, um, it's, it's raining down here, a little wet down here, so I can't take Jace to the football field. So, where he at? Let me I'm see. Watching, I'm watching Tiger documentary, man. Tiger, you gotta watch that. Now. Let me see where Jace at. Hey, Jace. He just busted his ass on the floor, so. <laughs> hey, yo. Jason wants to speak to you. Jason wants to speak to you. Tell him what's up. What's up? Where your clothes at, bruh? You heard me? What's up? Yeah? Where your clothes? My clothes, what? Where your clothes at? I don't need clothes right now. <laughs> Tell him, I don't need clothes right now. I don't need clothes right now. What you doing, bruh? I'm watching Uno. Uno got tall Uno. Uno got tall Uno. Uno got tall Uno. How big Uno is? Uno be biting. Uno be biting you, Jace. No. You be. You still be fighting him. No. You don't. No. That's good. Flip the camera back. Okay. Flip the camera back to yourself. You been working out? I have. Yeah. What's that? Party. Tell me you've been doing them push-ups. I've been doing them push-ups. You ain't did no push-ups. Yes, I did. No, you yes, didn't. Did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's straight. All right, dog. I love you, big dog. All right, love you, too. Hey, read my text messages, man, when I was telling you. All right. We got one. Ooh. Mmm. That's a fucking... Of... You ain't on top, though. Perfect throw. Mm. That's a prime example what we were talking about. Yeah, I love That's it. a perfect, he literally got one of his, look. I love he it. can get on top now, he's still chilling on that low hill. Mm -hmm. Got mm -hmm. my spread time really outside the field. I like to, you know, watch a lot of, watch a lot of film. DBs, well not DBs, but just football, period. Um, but mainly I'm looking at the DBs and, you know, I watch, I watch everybody really on. 
I don't really have favorites to watch, but um, I, I like to watch guys who you know, kind of got the same body type as me, but also other guys. And mainly, I, the main reason I do this is to just, you know, pick up tips from other DBs game and add them to mine. Ball. Fat. I love that game. Who? He played all to He really like me. He legit competitive, bro. He didn't look back. He played right to that's, the team. That's instinct, bro. He just, he just threw his arm. First day I ever worked with JC, I knew he was different. Like, I knew he was a first-round caliber talent. You know, you could tell he was special, you know, moving around. But what really, really, you know, made me stamp him and just completely be like, look, this is the guy is – when I would be obviously at home, he would be at school. Man, the man always communicated with me, you know, sending me his film, sending me his practice film, critiquing himself, asking what he could have done better. Uh, constantly, though, like not just here and there, like literally almost every day, even to this day, with, with even football season being over for him. He's still sending me tapes, sending me this, sending me that. You know what I'm saying? And in Columbia, it would be sometimes midnight, this man is in pitch black, in the, in the pitch black in the film room by himself watching film. Even if it's watching somebody else, like the man is always watching the game. He's always studying the game. He's always critiquing himself. You know, he'll go back and look at his own film and just see, watch his own progression. But it, he's definitely a student of the game. And when you when you mix that type of ability and competitive edge with actually studying and preparing a certain way man sky's the limit he was run him over right they'll be making plays bro look at this rush look at all the ground he's playing on this rush He's moving. Oh, yeah. uh, he didn't even break stride. Y'all don't need Proto. That's all we need right here. <laughs> he got a couple times. You see how he, he's trying to move it slow? Ah. Uh, he's doing the ball. <laughs> right. Yeah, what, Even my competition, like when I was in college, I watched all the, all the top college DBs. I watched their film just to just to get you know tips from them, because you know it's 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 always ways to get better at the game. It's something that you don't do that you can add to your toolbox that somebody else do. So I watch a lot of film on everybody. You look like Kendall. <laughs> Kendall got many knees, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm about to call Kendall right now, bro. <laughs> but it's too late to drive. <laughs> this is, you been playing 2K? <laughs> bro, we got, I'm calling you because I'm over here with JC and Joe. Yo. Like, what, what up, boy? Yeah, what are you doing, bro? You number 12 or something over here, but... Nah, we were watching 13. We said that boy took your whole swag. Bro, he really cloned you. <laughs> In a good way, though. Right. Like, he, he, he trying to go to the league. That's what he telling me. He used he use that red shirt. Yeah, how he posed you. Man, he used that red shirt. You didn't watch every piece of number 20 tape. Y'all two watched the video on the Hollywood Day. Hey, pull him up. 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 You watched when you got back? Nah, it was like on my explore page. Like, his RG. I just clicked on that bit. I've seen him play. Such a good athlete. Pull his tape up, bro. Thank you, media. Love 
Hey, hey, man, you look around. You gotta take my Everybody No, 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 There's only one white only one. I'm talking about you coming out, out yeah, yeah, bro. Literally, as soon as you come out, fireworks, no, everybody pulling their phones out, lights, and that joint starts rocking. You hear people on the side just go. They should get rocking too. Texas A&M got probably the most crazy I'm talking about our village. Bro, we made Michigan. Bro, we made Michigan. We made Michigan. Bro, y'all see that. Bro, that's You know how hard that is? You know how hard that is? Do y'all just make me laugh? I remember that. When they came to Columbus, I felt our village like a shake. He think it go. When you step back, he not going to go and release again. He just going to go. Yeah, he f***ing right into your hands. I'm going to choke the whole route. She like taking candy from a baby. What? Ma. What's up? Nothing on the road, on the road. Where you headed back to Atlanta? I'm on the way to the, um, I'm on the way to the field right now. I'm about to do, I'm about to do the speed work. Speed work? Yeah, so I can run that 4-4. I would have been running. Have you listened to me? Wanted me to be on that track so bad. Yeah, should have ran track. You already had a 4-3-4. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, um, Judah came with you? Yeah, she's late. <laughs> she a terrible person to be on the road with. I don't need her. I've been listening to um, Karen Shear and Karen Clark Shear. Something has to break. You listen to that? You need to turn on that baby. Turn on who? That little baby. That trash. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what they said. <laughs> I was just positive rap in your ears at all times. I know. Judah <laughs> was saying, and I was listening to, um, I don't know, his name is Joe something. He's a, um, um, a YouTuber. He has his own YouTube channel. She is mad you're listening to. Why are you listening to me? Listen to me. It's your age. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like 11, so like one, two, your time. Too much time out, but I just want to make it. You know, I gotta get this MRI done and become the athlete that I taught you to be. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna, um, <laughs> what time you MRI? At two. Alright, I'm gonna call you uh, when it's done. Well, I gotta, I gotta get one on my hip and my knee, so I'll, um, I'll call you when I'm done. Yeah, just call me. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, Panay. Come on. 
Camera's out, baby. Let's go. Five seconds. Yes, yes, yes. 